In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the SALT test to assess for potential intraarticular findings or laxity in patients suffering from recalcitrant lateral epicondylalgia. Check out our online courses now. The link is in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Intraarticular findings and minor elbow instability due to patholaxity are possibly contributing factors to lateral epicondylalgia. The gold standard here is elbow arthroscopy. The authors of this test aim to find a non-invasive way to assess whether intraarticular pathology or ligamentous laxity is present. According to Arigoni et al, in 2017, the preliminary metrics of this test are a positive predictive value of 50 for laxity and 87.5 for intraarticular findings. The negative predictive value is 50 for both laxity and intraarticular findings. Note that these numbers are coming from an orthopedic setting with a high prevalence of such findings. This means the numbers appear more promising compared to a first-line clinical setting. Pause video to have a look at the different findings considered for laxity and intraarticular pathology. The authors performed the only study looking at the clinical metrics for this test to this day. Therefore, the test is considered of unknown clinical value. To perform this test, the therapist supports the arm of the patient with the elbow in a flex position. The examiner palpates the anterolateral aspect of the radial head. The thumb is then slid over the radial head while the forearm is supinated passively. The muscles are pushed away by keeping close contact with the radial head. The test is considered positive if pain arises when supinating the arm. All right, that's it for this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up for new videos. Check the links in the video description and make sure to follow us on social media. For more clinical pearls, research reviews, freebies, and blog posts, visit physiotutors.com. I'm Extra Physiotutors and I will see you in another video. Bye.